In mathematics, the Weierst truss function is an example of a pathological real-valued function on the real line. The function has the property of being continuous everywhere but differentiable nowhere. It is named after its discoverer Karl Weierstrass. Historically, the Weierstrass function is important because it was the first published example to challenge the notion that every continuous function was differentiable except on a set of isolated points. Construction. In Weierstrass' original paper, the function was defined as the sum of a Fourier series, where is a positive odd integer, and the minimum value of which satisfies these constraints is. This construction, along with the proof that the function is nowhere differentiable, was first given by Weierstrass in a paper presented to the Königliche Akademie der Wissenschaften on 18 July 1872. The proof that this function is continuous everywhere is not difficult, since the terms of the infinite series which defines it are bounded by plus or minus n and this has finite sum for 0 less than a less than 1. Convergence of the sum of the terms is uniform by the Weierstrass m test with m n equals n. Since each partial sum is continuous and the uniform limit of continuous functions is continuous, it follows f is continuous. To prove that f is nowhere differentiable, we consider a point and show that the function is not differentiable at that point. To do this, we construct two sequences of points xn and xn which both converge to x, having the property that where limbs up and lim inf denote limit superior and limit inferior, respectively, of the sequence. Naively it might be expected that a continuous function must have a derivative, or that the set of points where it is not differentiable should be small, in some sense. According to Weierstrass in his paper, earlier mathematicians including Gauss had often assumed that this was true. This might be because it is difficult to draw or visualize a continuous function whose set of non-differentiable points is something other than a countable set of points. Analogous results for better behaved classes of continuous functions do exist, for example the Lipschitz functions, whose set of non-differentiability points must be a Lebesgue null set. When we try to draw a general continuous function, we usually draw the graph of a function which is Lipschitz and has other nice properties. The Weierstrass function could perhaps be described as one of the very first fractals studied, although this term was not used until much later. The function has detail at every level, so zooming in on a piece of the curve does not show it getting progressively closer and closer to a straight line. Rather between any two points no matter how close, the function will not be monotone. The Hausdorff dimension of the graph of the classical Weierstrass function is bounded above by 2 plus lane, lane and is generally believed to be exactly that value, but this had not been proven rigorously. Notice that 1 less than d less than 2 if ab greater than 1. The term Weierstrass function is often used in real analysis to refer to any function with similar properties in construction to Weierstrass. Original example. For example, the cosine function can be replaced in the infinite series by a piecewise linear zigzag function, gh. Hardy showed that the function of the above construction is nowhere differentiable with the assumptions 0 less than a less than 1, ab 1. Holder continuity. It is convenient to write the Weierstrass function equivalently as for some 0 less than alpha less than 1. Then W alpha is Holder continuous of exponent alpha, which is to say that there is a constant c such that for all x and y. Moreover, W alpha is Holder continuous of all orders alpha less than 1 but not Lipschitz continuous. Density of nowhere differentiable functions. It turns out that the Weierstrass function is far from being an isolated example. Although it is pathological, it is also typical of continuous functions. In a topological sense, the set of nowhere differentiable real-valued functions on 0, 1 is comega in the vector space C of all continuous real-valued functions on 0, 1 with the topology of uniform convergence. In a measure theoretic sense, 
When the space C is equipped with classical Wiener measure gamma, the collection of functions that are differentiable at even a single point of 0, 1, has gamma measure 0. The same is true even if one takes finite dimensional slices of C. The nowhere differentiable functions form a prevalent subset of C.